What's up, fam? I'm JB Black CEO, and welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0. Let me move out of the way. That way we can see the queen right here when I speak out here. All right. We see the title. Jaquilla Robinson, Lizzie Wiggins, uh, refused hospital help. My sister. He got there on time. He showed the airplane tickets. Okay, people. Hey, Jay, he got there on time and right and this and this and that. He right. He got there. And like you say, the nurse showed him the bump on Quilla head. He did. He seen the eye and all of this. And then it's just crazy at the end of the day how he refused. Though I ain't do this. I ain't do this. He told the nurse, "No, don't send it to the hospital." Nazir refused. Quilla going to the hospital. I'm gonna put this up here real quick. So when the feds get ready to take their balls, understand that he agrees, y'all. Nazir didn't know. He didn't know. Nazir didn't know this. You know what I'm saying? I know some people probably love Tattoo Man, aka Pothead. This guy is a pothead. Doctor said friends refused to send Robinson to the hospital. That's what the feds gonna want to talk to them about, y'all. Because the friends, the friends that was on the trip with Quillard, the, the, the police gonna want to talk to the friends because they refused. Why did the friends refuse? Why wouldn't Nazir come late on his birthday and be like, yo, nah, she don't need to go. Quillard get up. This guy doing videos telling Quillard get up. And then when the nurse come in after rubbing her head, the nurse showed him a knot. This guy was like, nah, don't send over to the hospital. And oh, yeah, Khalil, go and call Miss um, Salamandra back in Charlotte. Wow, this guy sitting in the room while Khalil making phone calls and he all depressed. Listen, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Hit like, hit that notification button. So when I do go live, I drop a video like I'm doing. See, I'm dropping a video right here in America because Cabo 6 and brought their ass back over here. And Mr. Uh, what's his name? Mr. Man, Mr. Pothead, Mr. Reefer. Reefer man say he ain't that bruh. I, I ain't no number. I'm innocent. Y'all hold all this. Only thing I did is tell the nurse, yo, she ain't gonna go to the hospital with all this rest of the Cabo Six. But I, I got that late. I didn't do that. I didn't whoop her. But I did tell the police and the nurse, yo, don't send her to the hospital. And Quilla did, you know, became unalive. Because she hey, as it said he wasn't there. He said he didn't catch no plane with them. He said the whooping and the beating Quilla took, he wasn't there. But what he says, though, yo, I did refuse, though. And that's right there. It's in the paperwork. Now, I know people want to forgive this guy, whatever, but the paperwork in Mexico that went to the news reporters agency and CBS Morning Show said that the doctor said France refused, that Nazir refused. Nazir went over there and went straight to Quilla, seen the night on her uh, eye, seen the mouth toe all up, uh, turn it to her side, give her a bag, and go outside and make a video and then come back in and agree with Cabo that this girl don't need to go to the hospital. Though. He just interesting. Uh, Nazir did not tell us that on his live. To the people. And I believe he telling the truth. He tells you he might be. But what he did was refuse Quilla. We cannot miss the point, y'all. Where I, I get he might be cute, but he is not cute. He is not cute. Because what make him not cute? He refused with winner, elise, plats, baby powders, and the rest of them, kneecaps for this girl not to go. They all cahooted, Cabo 6, and he did. He can say whatever, ever he want. This is why Desiree going to tell it on him, and he going to be telling on Desiree. He gonna, Desiree going to tell it on him, and he going to be telling on Desiree. The guy refused with Desiree and everybody. He went along with the get-along gang. He came right back over here, all sober, with probably high. He said, ain't got nothing to do with you. What, what the hat? Let me see. Let me get the hat. How he had his hat on, y'all? He was like, bro, I don't do it. He was like, bro, how you standing to the side? How you? And bro, you know, I ain't, I ain't do it. Like, bro, I wasn't there, right? You wasn't there. Let's get the airplane stuff out of it. You was there when you refused Quilla uh, hospital help, Nazir. After you rubbed her head, seen her eye with a blood clot in it. Her mouth tore from being kicked all in the mouth. And, and oh, yeah, y'all see alcohol poison. So everything in that room you went by. So you need to be mad at the nurse, the doctors, and everybody, bro. And then you trust the nervous that extra day don't have to refuse. And how he was, yeah, how he had his head, y'all. Let me see if I get the head right. He was like, bro, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm Nazir. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm Nazir from Charlotte Concord. I ain't, I ain't, bro, I'm innocent. I'm an innocent soul. But he forgot to tell us that. He uh, refused for that sister to go to the hospital. It said, doctor said, friends refused to send Quilla to the hospital. What he did before the nurse name got there, when he was there, he needed to tell us, did you make the video when the nurse was there? You know, cause you was like, bro, I ain't doing that. Bro, I'm innocent soul. 
I'm an innocent soul. He said he's an innocent soul, even though he refused Quiller to go to the hospital. So maybe he said she'll be all right. She'll be with the Lord. She'll be with the Most High Yahweh, Yoshua, and all of that. Let me fix my hat, though. Maybe, uh, maybe he said that. I don't know. I don't know. And, uh, you know, word coming out where it was some butt slapping over there. Hey, you know, I heard other bloggers say that it might have was some butt slapping on over there between uh, Nazir and one of them. And, uh, oh, God, not, it smelling like tuna fish in there. smelling like a, a cattle pasture. Nazir refused hospital help, though. He write, it's time. Bro, I was in the cab. Then I went out and then and I went out and made a video. He finished that video. He came in and told them she don't need to go to hospital. 16 rounds of CPR, she don't need to go to the hospital. He clearly said he helped the nurse. And he said he helped her ass. You seen the video? Go back and look at my video. Hopefully I'll put, post it in the strips. I said he helped her ass, bro. He said he went out there and did a video. After he left Quilla in there, you know what I'm saying? He went outside and picked up the phone. Quilla, come on, man. We 3,000 miles away. Even though I was just in the room with you. And you laying in there, I'll tow up. Alcohol pours. I don't know if you fail or whatever. But when I come back in, I'm going to refuse hospital help with the rest of the pothead. He went right in there and refused the hospital help. But I was there. And, and my flight, bro, if I can get my flight ticket. Uh, I got the video. I was in a cab. Hey, my friends, the people that knew me, see me shoot the video to Quilla. They see me come out there. Quilla, stay right here. I'm going to go outside and make a video to you. Hey, Quilla, I just left for a minute. Quilla, get up. Quilla, uh, did Quilla answer the phone? I thought Quilla answered the damn phone after you left in there. Say he said she was chilling. She was over there chilling. And then he knows she got a uh spot on her head, her eye, and, and all this chilling. And then this guy got degrees. Now this Wigan is nothing but old pothead, man, from what I see, man. We seen on that line, he had to have it. He said, up there talking about, I ain't even getting a drink, get to smoke no weed. Who is finna go to Mexico? You see these people, brothers and sisters, just got thrown on the back of a truck, and he over here talking about getting some chronic. The reef, you know, the university guy. This guy refused medical help for Quillo. You see it on CBS News right there? I made sure I kept that. These people refused. Damn line, look at the other article. Look at it. Look at the other article, y'all. This was ABC. Guest refused to send Robinson to the hospital. Now, Zill Wigan refused to send that girl to the hospital. Went out there doing all them damn videos over there in Cabo. I wasn't there, y'all. I wasn't there. And then he come in and said, uh, guess what? Uh, uh, yeah, don't send her to the hospital. He agreed. Now, Zill Wiggins agreed. He riding around with that little three millimeter. He, it ain't a nine millimeter. I seen the video today. Me and the homies, we was laughing. He was like, he did like, like that, man. That little teeny little pistol right there was sitting there. Man, my, with that little thing there, man. Boy, hey, mine wouldn't even fit that, though. My my firearm, bro. How you did that? Damn, it'd probably be hanging up out my shirt and all of that. My drawers are probably falling if I take a picture. Man, I don't do that. That's that's young. That's immature. He say he pulled it up. He had his little teeny little three-inch firearm in there after he refused hospital. He come back all on the internet with his little three-inch firearm out here. Yo, somebody would. And uh, because if you mess with me, I won't call the hospital. See, you mess with him, he won't call the hospital. You be bad out of shape. I was there. When I pulled up at the sit go and y'all was there. But he ain't gonna call the ambulance sorry. So if this guy sees somebody laying out here choking off slot, something hanging out their throat, he gonna refuse hospital. That's it, he's gonna refuse it. And he gonna be talking about when I pulled up, right, dog. When you pulled up, he gonna come with his time and all of this, but it's still gonna show that he refused to give you hospital service at a gas station or a grocery store. If you fall out around him, bro, you're not calling no uh, ambulance. I see where the people. Don't call the police to look cold. But when you got these people don't call the damn ambulance, we got a problem. And then it's your home, girl. So-called, well, the so-called friends don't call the ambulance. This is Wiggins refused. He refused, and that's what the feds is going to uh, be able to use if they get jurisdiction over there. They're going to want to talk to the friends, right? Then the friends go over there with Quilla. Then Quilla go with the friends. This is how weird and, and stupid these people is. The friends, they don't want to know the friends. Then when they go through the paperwork, why the hell is the guest refused? The guest refused to send Robinson to the hospital. They refused to send Robinson to the hospital, the guest. Hmm. Matter of fact, let's put the right one up there. The friends, 
Where is it at? The friends refused Quiller going to the hospital. Now, why wouldn't they do that? He say he innocent. Hmm? Because this say he innocent, but refused our sister going to the hospital. Bro, I got there about three after three and all this, and then refused. Then the nurse come, this guy refused. Do all these damn videos, rubbing her head, didn't feel the night until the nurse pointed out, put on her side, get a bag, and then go outside and do a video tour. And then remember, he came up, he said he came in and she was chilling. He said, chilling with what? Face all tore up. Chilling, see face tore up. And he said, that's chilling. His degrees tell him that that's chilling. Is it the weed degrees or the other high school or is it college? They're still going to jail if the feds pick this up. Cause they gonna wanna talk to these friends. The friend who who rolled over there. All of y'all stayed in the same place as friends in the same villa that uh Nazir was talking about. Nazir put the nurse in there. He said the nurse showed him the knot, and then he turned around and refused. So the nurse, nah, don't take her to the hospital. Hit your blacks. Mm -hmm. Then he turned around. The nurse showed me the knot right there. They showed me the damn knot. I ain't see it. I really didn't see, like, in a, when we started, I said, I really didn't see none of that. But you really did see when the nurse came after she showed you that night, and you told her, nah, you know what? I'm like Khalil, Winner, Elise, uh, uh, Malik, and the rest of us. Don't send her to the hospital. Who does that in Mexico? I mean, you don't even care about the girl mama. He ain't call the mom and say, well, look, we ain't going to send her to the hospital. He had like he was cool at daddy. That's it, like he was cool at daddy and say, nah. Don't take it to the hospital. You're not her daddy. You're not Quilla daddy, bro, to make those decisions. This guy made a decision like he was Quilla daddy. Nah, don't take it to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? I got a little three, a little three inch uh, little pistol or something that he he was like, <laughs> he it. hey fam, <laughs> this dude had a he had a little peacock, a little three inch. A three millimeter peacock, let's shoot it, boy. Like, like shoot bird seeds or something. Bruh, somebody need to put the police on this guy. Somebody need to put the police on. And I know the police see that little three inch, like, you don't even think it's a BB gun. My BB gun bigger than that. I can, I probably can pump my BB gun about 200 times and get the power that he got in that little three millimeter, little whatever that was right there. But you keep playing with it, boy. You're going to jail and with that weed in your pocket. This guy, mind me, where he just have to stay high he have to his mind telling me i have to have that weed and when he was in there this guy oh he was thinking right he said he wasn't thinking right because this guy refused quiller to go and i don't know what in his mind to say you know what damn i did the video outside after i left him Khalil called the mom you know what alcohol poison that what uh that's it is. he said alcohol poison I went near. I went near. I'm telling you, I went near. I'm an innocent soul. Hey, but look, don't send it to the hospital because I didn't whip her. So after the whipping, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no hospital. They stayed a day late. After telling this young, these people not to take it to the hospital. Who, what type of nerve is that out there? Boy, you need to turn your balls in. Now, Zed Wiggins, y'all, this guy is something. All online. Man, I got the, let's see, and, and just, uh, hey, I got the video. Matter of fact, I got, release the video. Release the one where you was in there doing CPR. Mm-hmm. Nazir Wiggins went in there. Yeah, wait a minute. And, and Quilla, wake up. Come on, Quilla. Then he go outside, leave her again, and then go outside and call her like she going to get up. After saying all this on his face, his mind didn't tell him that. Where did he graduate in? Hmm? Hmm? He said she was chilling. Chilling with what? I beg the difference. Now, Zill Williams is dangerous. Not for him to say, oh, yeah, I'll play. No, this guy's dangerous. Retarded dangerous. Not where you should be scared. No, just don't pass out around him. That's what I'm saying. Because if you pass out around him, Zill Williams, you're not going to hospital, the emergency room, or nothing. It's going to be a part two of our sister Quilla. Listen, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and hit that notification button. So when I do go live, drop a video here in America about uh, Nazir. Nazir said he wasn't there. He said it was alcohol poisoning. And then it's like, well, now nah, I don't send it to the hospital. Alcohol poisoning just don't matter. What type of, what Quilla had a level one uh, uh, alcohol poison? Well, that means she wasn't drunk. 
she ain't got to go to hospital. I guess what what level did they name it? I guess they say it was a level one uh, uh, chronic weed or uh, whatever. And she don't need to go to hospital. This dude act like he was the mama, the daddy and all of that. And said, Quilla don't need to go to the hospital. Now he got that lady say, yeah, when he got that lady, he had enough time to go in there and tell him, hey, don't send that girl to the hospital over here in Mexico, you know, and I'm going to go back home late. And then Cabo Six left. He don't even explain it. Like, bro, and they left the girl. They left, and I stayed there. She didn't he say none of that. Is this say she was chilling? When he saw Quilla, she was chilling. He ain't know nothing about no video. He ain't know nothing about no fights or nothing and all of that. One thing he do know is he told me she wasn't going to the hospital. And this is a witness said, I'm gonna get it ready to get up out of here. But yes, you can't take that from this. Here. Look at this. Before I go, friends called for medical help after two, saying Robinson had drunk a lot of alcohol that she was drinking. Woke up that morning and they waited. They waited after the whipping. Then, like he said, Quilla was found in her bathroom, y'all, in her room. Yeah, where they whipped her, whipped her and whipped her and whipped her in the bathroom in her room. So when they finished whipping her, they put her in the bathroom in her room. And then when the doctor came, Nazir, Kalia, Malik, Donald Winner, uh, Kneecap, so she don't need to go. They wanted that to marinate like a pot of neck bones. So let her marinate like a pot of neck bone. And guess what happened? They did. And they did. And that's why we're here taking this guy balls. And this guy is a damn liar. Khalil, I mean, Khalil Cook and uh, Nazir is a liar. And they need handcuffs. I pray to God them feds get on it. Because guess what? The feds going to want to know. We need to talk to the friends to ask them why would they refuse medical help for Shanquilla.